Hey everyone. So till now we have talked about the font, music and image module in Pygame. It's time we get a little bit inclined towards the video game creation part of Pygame. In this video we won't be creating a video game but yeah we would be doing something related. We would try to see a snowfall. We would try to create our own snowfall on the Pygame screen. So if I'm talking about snow falling then uh, it should make sense to you that we would do something related to the moving text or moving image but along the y-axis and uh, if it makes sense to you if you're able to think about that then yeah you're on the right path and you have actually understood what has happened till now and uh, a little bit prerequisite for this video would be the knowledge of the random module if you don't know about it it's all right i'd be telling you about random module moreover we would just be using a function from random module um, i would need random module just think about it why would i need random module because i want snow on random spots of the screen okay so that's why i'd be using the random module so that i can have random coordinates all right so let's get to the code right away it's going to be very easy so first we have the basic three steps i hope you rem remember the first step is initializing pygame i have done so then i have imported random module just so i can take random spots random coordinates then i have the step two setting up the screen then i have taken up a list snow so what i would do is i would append some coordinates in snow which at at which i would need the snow at the uh, at which i would draw the circles okay so i have run this for loop okay for range 50 the length of the list would be 50 and uh, then i have picked up a random number this is what rand range does in random module it picks up a random number from the given uh, range and similarly for y x y also y coordinate also and then i'd be appending the list to the snow list uh, so snow becomes a 2d list just like this i hope you get it and uh, so we have a list that has some random continents okay then i have set up this clock object from the time module so that i can work with the frame rate later you'd get the purpose of this later i tell you later at the end of the program now is our third step the game loop so then we have our events loop as usual i have filled the screen with white color you can also take black color and white color snow doesn't matter now is the main part for ice in range length snow now we'd be traversing each element of snow and uh, draw a circle at that coordinate okay so for that i have written pygame.draw i have used the draw module and use the draw uh, and use the circle function from draw so this is the screen uh, the surface on which we want to draw then we have i've mentioned the color i want blue circles um, and then the coordinate would be given by snow ice okay and the radius would be two pixels since i want the snow to fall along y-axis i'd be increasing the y-axis you can see like the y-axis would be given by the ice elements first element okay this might be a little jumbling how do you access a 2d list you go to the first uh, number like i go to the ice element ice element and uh, then go to the first element inside that list so this becomes the y coordinate of the random y coordinate of the random uh, point okay cool so i'd be increasing that by one each time okay because i want the next spot to be just below it i do not change the x-axis but i change the y-axis because i want the snow to fall down now there is this 
corner case, case that if the snow, if the coordinate now becomes greater than the screen size, which is 400 right now, then what I'd do is I'd pick any random number again. I'd, I'd completely change the coordinate. I'd pick any random number from minus 50 to minus 10 because I'd I want the drop, I want the snow to fall from the top and not from any random point and not from in between. So that's why I've taken this negative range and I would reassign the value of the x coordinate also since it's i's and zero in square brackets. Then I update the display. You can also use flip here, not a problem. Then I have used this clock object and use the tick function so that I can set up the frame rate. By default, it's zero. If it's if you do not mention this, the snow would fall in a flash like it's it would look like it's running the snow is running it won't make any sense so the larger the frame rate is the slower is the snowfall okay so let's check it out how this works so we have our snow falling very properly just randomly from anywhere as snowfall is you can also take up different colors like let me change the color here let me do black and make this circle of white color. So let's run this. Yeah, this also looks nice. Uh, you can try either one. You can even have any combination of colors. So that's pretty much it about this video. Hope you understood the program. We'll do more in the next videos, in the upcoming videos. Thank you.